freak out. Don't think it's the end of the world, but it is Ted Leo and the Marvel Sound. In terms of being successful as a band or an artist, as each year goes by, it gets harder and harder and harder even to sustain ones. I mean, I, can, I don't even understand how like bands that start out can tour these days solely based on the price of gas. I mean, I know what opening bands get paid. I know what I got paid when I was, you know, a per perpetual opener, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I know what clubs want to pay opening bands these days, and it hasn't changed that much in 10 years, while the costs of doing business have gone through the roof, you know? I don't understand how they do it, like, and to that end, I mean, the reason I bring that up is because, naturally, you want to be successful, you want to be able to, to, at the very least, sustain your efforts to keep making music. You at least know when you're going to turn everything down. You're not laughing on the weapon. The way that this ties back into the to touch and go specifically is that they understand. Whereas, whereas another label might say, oh, you don't want to do a car commercial? You don't want to do a McDonald's commercial? That's ridiculous, you know? What are you talking about? It's good for everybody, you know? We need to sell records, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Like, you, you know, you got to do this, you know, blah, 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 blah. Touch and go, in one, of, in one of the first conversations that I ever had with Corey, it was him feeling me out on where my lines were, where I draw my lines, you know? And um, I really appreciated that. It's, it's something that nobody really ever does. There's a certain sense of community and trust that goes into everything that they do. I'm not trying to say that, that being on a record label, putting on records, just that there's, I'm not trying to deny the business side of it. There's a bottom line, ultimately, you know, everybody's gotta be aware of that, but like, I've been lucky enough to be able to, slash, you know, always chosen to, work with labels that are run by people that I'm comfortable with, that I'm friends with, and that we, it does feel like for lack of a better term, like as cheesy as it is, like it really does feel like a family. You know, it's having known so many people that work at Touch and Go for so long already, and now being in even closer contact with them. Um, being part of a festival like this is something that I'd want to do, but like being in a family, I probably would have felt left out if I hadn't been able to do it. You know, like I'm just psyched to be a part of the whole thing. Have you gone? And I know I'm not to sing a fight. 